Hi, I'm Dweller, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is going to be a brief overview of Step the Counter Railway's brand new prototype features. They were revealed on the SCR Discord yesterday as part of the Transport Tech 2021 convention, with their own stall apparently showcasing six new features, four of which should be obvious. To avoid lag, I'm going to be recording on SCR's specialised game place for their own stall as the entire convention is an incredibly laggy game because of the server size and the sheer number of different stalls and assets. I'll start off by going over what Bantech has actually said. It seems that these new features are early prototypes, meaning that they are more than likely subject to change in the near future. Bantech said that they are testing the concept rather than the final look. Apparently you can follow other social media like SCR on Twitter, though at the moment nothing new has been revealed. He's also said that some of these features may come around as soon as version 1.8, which also gives us a little evidence of the fact that 1.8 is probably coming relatively soon, whatever the update should bring. Now, let's talk about what we can tell so far about the actual prototype features. You join the separate stall game to be greeted by half of Starry Lock Station, or apparently Transport Tech 2021 Station. The most obvious thing you notice upon arrival is the fact that the doors must now be toggled to open by pressing E. The same goes for sitting on seats, though that requires you to press and hold on Q. I'm a big fan of this concept, as it adds that little bit of more immersion, and I think that it could be implemented well with the idea that only select stations use this system, with others having the doors open by default. Though my biggest problem with this is how big and bulky the UI is with the default Roblox ones being used. It would probably look better with a smaller and cleaner UI design, similar to the click-to-view systems with the passenger info boards in stations. Another problem is that you don't really get to choose which seat you sit in, which could be annoying for people who like role-playing. The next obvious thing you can see in the new area is the brand new design for the SCR track models. Upon first impressions, they look a lot better than the current blocky ones we have, though to be incredibly honest, they haven't thought about lag much. Rather than using a texture for the sleepers, they've used individual parts, which can only mean a higher try count. I think they should consider that people like me have low-end devices a little more. The colouring is a little weird as well. They use the same as they do currently, which is a bit vibrant and animated in a way. However, I really like the shape of the tracks, and I'm assuming they have imported mesh models for the tracks here, which is good for the game. It takes a couple of minutes to notice this, but there is also a completely new guarding system, in which the guard panel is physically on the wall of the train, and the buttons must be pressed in order. I have to say, I never expected this to be a thing, and I really like the way this has been implemented, to add more realism into the game, bit by bit. Though it is very cool, it does have a few issues, the first being the range of the buttons. It takes a minute to position your camera so you're actually able to press them, and guard trainings will need to be completely redesigned with this new system. It also gives me the idea that they may implement something similar for dispatchers, in which dispatchable stations have a box with the controls inside, just like in real life. This is a very interesting feature, which will definitely require some getting used to, but I reckon it will really add some immersion to the gameplay of SCR. Finally, I can't go without mentioning these new advertisements in-game, which look very professional in my opinion. An excellent job from TPX, as per usual. This one with the map, though, makes me a little suspicious. It looks normal, though it could be hinting some form of new line, especially since you see a subtle Morganstown in the background of the image. Express still doesn't stop at Beverly, though. Anyways, I hope I've covered everything, and that concludes my thoughts on SCR's new prototype features. Do remember that this is all my opinion, and you should leave your own in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Stay safe, goodbye.